Hello my friends and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod, playing as the Kingdom of Italy, Gloria to Italia. So last time, we had a slight spat with the Ottoman Empire, and we did pretty darn well defending and acquiring new colonies for ourselves. But, let us time to go ahead and do flexible foreign policy with a great description and let time go on because... We have war in the Balkans, but we need time to pass before we go to war once again. So, I asked you guys yesterday, should we go with Germany or should we go with the French and the Entente? Well, there's support for both sides, but the overwhelming support was for me to go with Germany. So, there's actually a lot of support for me to go with Germany, and which we shall do it, because I think that'd be quite interesting, even though someone did say don't go with Germany because, in the end... Austria might still strike you. I don't know, but it's a gamble that I am going to take. That might be true, that might be not so true, but we'll see what happens as we're building more and more factories. Apparently, I, I think I asked this in the last video, but when did um, Italy join the Great War historically with the Entente? Apparently, according to you guys, and you're probably completely true, completely right, um, was May 1915, so we've got a while, it's only 1912 right now, but we've got a while to watch Europe burn, and for us to <clears throat> supposedly pick which side we want to join on, because it doesn't make any sense though, Ooh, there goes Emperor, why we are in the house of Savoy when we don't even own Savoy, which is very, very weird in my mind, which I actually didn't think of yesterday, we're, we're ruled by the house of Savoy, but we don't even own Savoy, how terrible, god, no wonder we don't like the French, regardless, we are still getting some steel from Sweden, a little bit of fuel from these guys, even though we're completely out. You know what? If we're out, we're going to be out. I want to save these factories for as much as possible. Thanks for the fuel, guys. We don't have any of it, but that's okay. But let's do a reapproachment with Germany. Yes. Glorious. And what can we do with this stuff? War economy, not quite. Industrial concerns actually would be pretty good. This stuff, I'm definitely going to be choosing infantry equipment because that's probably the best thing that we could do. Fighters, we could probably wait on this. We might choose naval bombers. I usually choose fighters, but I like Machi. Societia Anonima Newport Machi. Obviously, I'm very not Italian at all, so. Ooh, Fiat? Armor? Not bad. What do we have for military high command? Naval 2%. Agility for naval stuff. Bombing 1%. Oh, yes. Yes, we can make better cruisers now. Good. 1912. Land forts might be important. Let's go with oil production because we could we could really use that. Oh, is there? I just saw the war support go down. World tension must be decreasing, which is okay. Chief of the army here, defense. Yeah, five percent, five four percent. Oh, why? Why do you hurt me? I get more attacks. Not bad. Um, let's just go ahead and grab this. Industrial concerns. Cool. Oops. Oh, this page. Thank you. If anyone needs training, go right ahead. And we have another six Ascari divisions, which are our colonial divisions, which are actually 12 combat with, which isn't too bad in my mind, actually. Uh, that being said, though, mm, colonial divisions, I prefer some thick divisions regardless. Let's see, I'll put you right there. Ascari, very good. Colonial divisions, more like integrated full Italian divisions. And actually, with us going to war eventually, probably, with France, apparently, we might be able to get some more colonies. Hopefully Tunisia, perhaps uh, Algeria, and maybe even Morocco, even though the Germans might want that. Oh uh, yeah, the Germans definitely have a claim on Agadir, which is okay. It is okay. Uh, I st it's still in it. Wow. We are filled up. We are really filled up. Um, go ahead and get rid of Abruzzo and Sicily, because I want to continue building up Sicilian factories, too. Uh, do that up top. Um, you know what, Benito? You don't have to do that. I want to focus a lot of mil on civilian factories, too. And military factories. I can't speak right now. I apologize. Woo! Ooh, destroy a radical opposition. Ooh. Honestly? Oh, that is really nice. Avanti Savoia. That looks amazing. Hold on. Deal with Italy. Has not completed that focus. Huh. Dissolve Czech Parliament. Deal with Italy. Which is over here, so they can't... They're not going down that path. 
that's quite interesting. We can still go down. We we could do this. We are going to go down this way. So to get down here, we have to destroy radical opposition, which is right there. We get more war support, which is nice. We get to agree with opposition. Neutral foreign policy. We get to create our own faction. That's okay. Uh, I like that. That's not too bad. Stability. I like that. I like that. I like to punish the Ottomans as well. It creates London Pact. We could still go down this path and still join the Entente. This seems a very weird. But regardless, let's go and destroy radical opposition. I'm taking a while to do that, but... We'll have 92 percent war support, which is a very, a very nice. Next up, we shall do material designer. Should we do that as well? Aircraft. This stuff can kind of all wait to a degree. Can I actually lower this? Yes, I can. But there really is no point for us to lower our resources to market. Hmm. Naval bombers. I think fighters are where it's at. But we're gonna first choose infantry equipment. You know, I love guns. I love Beretta. I own it. Maybe one. Anyways, um, we don't need to talk about firearms or my collection. Whatever. Artillery, looking nice. Motorized, looking pretty darn nice. Let's see. Did I put on... I can't remember. I apologize. I can't remember a lot of things, apparently. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is very nice. Only minus 190? Heck, yeah. Ooh, Division Colonial. Let's find thick Italians. Hmm. Hmm. Division Alpine. You know what? Can we just throw this on there anyways for now? More Mountaineers. Will that work? 20 combat with? Some real special boys. Now we have a deficit. Quite a big deficit. That's okay. Support artillery just is so good to have. It would be a shame to not have it. More divisions? Good. Train. Now we have motorized. And actually, how much support equipment do we have? We have minus 115. Hmm. Because we are Italy, we must save manpower. Because it, we can use motorized for this, which we would have a deficit, and have a massive deficit of support equipment. So we're going to wait. Alright, good. Claim on French East. Alliance with Germany. Disagreeing with Triple Alliance. Actually, what does that do right now? Oh, then we can't join factions. So then we can join factions. And retake Court of State. That's cool. Claims on Austrian West. Oh, you need reapportionment. Oh, I still can't do that. Italian patron. I still get this. Hmm. Hmm, that's nice. That's really nice on core territory. But how about we develop some colonial ports? That might be really, really good. Ooh, some, oh, some oil. I love oil, but let's develop the colonial ports. It doesn't say we do anything. It might be completely worthless to take, but happy 1913, my friends. It's January. It's a nice, cool year. Hopefully you're up in the Alps and skiing along with us. Yeah, that'd be really cool if we could develop, um, like, Benghazi or Tripoli. I like that. I like that a lot. Horses looking good. Oh. Yeah, we made you guys a little thicker. That'll come along, one of these two will. Hmm. Hmm. Keep building up, keep building up. Hey! Machine Gun Defense, Treaty of London, the Balkan League is victorious. And we should do Torrench Assault for more stealth attack and more max planning. Actually, after this, Fort Assault or Fortification System. More heart attack, more entrenchment. Less supply consumption, which I like a lot. Planning speed's okay. This stuff seems okay if you use them. More breakthrough and soft attack and heart attack and less supply consumption. I love all those things. Fortification system, though, more defense and entrenchment. Uh, recon companies get better recon. You get recon companies get you more soft attack. Just flat five organization. Ooh, line artillery gives you more defense and organization, less supply consumption, and then plus twenty five percent breakthrough. Oh, that ain't bad. Uh, actually, let's make sure we click on the right one. Um, this is. Well, that's actually not too ahead of time. 283 versus what? 230? Oh, just do fortification one. That'll be fine for now. We might need fortification one. We might really need that. Okay, and we have 1.7 political power day. I love it. Uh, fighters, Machi, Machi. Not Mochi, not ice cream, but Machi. What's next? And we'll probably grab Fiat. We might make tanks, we might not, I really don't know. My plan to, when invading France is to take over the colonies, of course, over here as well. But most importantly, take over this area. And before we get too far, let time go on. We have 48 naval XP. We can hopefully, finally, make something good here. Not that one. I don't remember the last time I ever made... Um, 
Heavy cruisers. I really don't remember. Torpedoes. Oh, this is garbo level one, but whatever. It's fine. Secondary batteries. That's good. Anything here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Uh, let's go with rapid fire guns. Cool. Hey, not bad. Not bad. I'm actually a pretty good uh, cruiser. Cool. And you shall come to Piedmont. Perhaps uh, Tuscany. I'll go Tuscany. I like Tuscany. Ah, uh, we've built, developed colonial ports. Hopefully that wasn't a waste of time. Next up, Docks and Latino. Latino. I'm just thinking... Okay, never mind. I'm not going to say anything, but anyways. <laughs> what I'm thinking of when you say Latino. Okay, Docks and Latino. i going to say Latino instead. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired of the time of this recording, but that's totally okay with me. Woo! My mind is slipping. Go do that. Latino. Yeah, 1914 at least will make some... Then that's not too bad. My main goal is to make sure that we at least have some screens that can take some hits instead of using just... Oh, battleships. Because battleships might just get blown up. I don't know what the French Navy is like, so that's why I'm a little worried against fighting them. But it should be okay, because it's going to take so long. Let's go ahead and grab this first industry, too. And actually, I was going to ask you guys. What should our intelligence agency name be? We need something nice. Maybe historical, maybe not historical, because I don't know that much about Italy. Especially before World War One. I. I really don't. I really, really don't. And Bulgaria is getting smashed. And I will play as Bulgaria eventually in this mod. Just give me time. Just give me some time. Cool. And we only have five. Oh god, only five naval XP left. Ooh, what is going on? That was some serious lag. Holy cow. Hey, there we go. Treaty of Bucharest. Very beautiful, my friends. Oh, pull, poor, poor Bulgaria. Did I stop? Oh, you guys are healing. Why do you guys stop? Oh, that's nice. Uh, go ahead and grab construction speed. Just build. If it's going to take that long anyways, you might as well. And hopefully the Ottoman Empire, or the Ottoman State, joins us as well. What are we doing here? No, 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 no. you got to be mixing and matching. Anything else? Working conditions. How's China? China's looking good. They're no longer a republic. Persecution of the Turks. Huh. Turks in the population of the Balkans was left without protections. Okay. The entirety entity, enmity, caused a wave of anti-Turkish pogroms, repression, and persecution. Well, what do you expect for centuries? I don't know. The world is changing rapidly, but at least things are going on. Uh, Ducks and Sicilia. We have to be at war, which will happen eventually. Italian patriotism, we can wait. Claims on French East. I like that. Protect all Yeah. You know what? Let's do it just in case. Those Albanians, they're not bad people. But I like Fiat a lot. Not bad, that'll get done pretty hopefully pretty soon. We have no fuel, whatever. Infantry equipment, we'll get that done pretty soon as well. And we're mostly done training. Ooh, yeah, we're going to put some bad boys on these guys too. What do we need? Some support. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. Yeah, better entrenchment? I love better entrenchment, man. Oh, we're at minus six. Oh. Man, we need so many more units. Ooh, Coast Guards. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, did I even put anybody on these Coast Guards? There's no general here. Emmanuel Filiberto. Well, I'm going to use Old Guard because at least he gets one more entrenchment. At least he gets more entrenchment. Yeah, you might want to guard the ports in Italy. That might be port. And that's all the ports we can guard because we only have 10 soldiers. Hey, Mexico is not having a good time, and that's fine with us. As long as they can pay us our goods. Well, 12? Ooh. I am demanding. Oh, look at that. More military factorinos. Um, I'm going to put on artillery, actually, just because we need more artillery. Yeah, artillery is going to be key to blowing up all our enemies. Most definitely. I'm going to grab one more steel. Uh, you know what? I like the Germans. The Germans, they're good people. We're still allied to them, so. Okay, I lied. One more steel. One more steel. Okay, you know, I lied again. Two steel, because we're going to reduce this by one. Hey, we protect Albania. There we go. Alright, so, Italian patriotism, we can focus on this a little bit later. For this one, we need to have the Great War, which Italy requires colonies. Huh. Socialist movement, interesting. Docks in Sicilia. That might help. Fighters, naval doctrine. Let's do mining in Piedmont. Or mining industry in Piedmont. Get a little bit more tungsten, which would be actually very nice. We already have enough aluminum, which is okay. 
Actually, we are still only on limited conscription, which isn't bad. That's not too bad. As we're waiting, as the world goes boom, infantry equipment is looking at bueno. God, we need more artillery. If that's the case, I really don't want to hurt my abilities to produce guns. But we could probably do that, and nothing really changes too much. Produce more artillery, which is nice. Next up, so we have motorized. And that's pretty much all we can make. We have motorized, we have one, two, three, four. Plane wise, we're doing okay. I'm not going to make armored cards. It's kind of a waste, honestly. It's kind of a waste early on. There's real no point to do it at all right now. So we're going to wait. And here. Uh, we'll probably go on the offense, maybe. I might just pull a. Exploit the Hoi for AI, or not really exploit, just take advantage of it, and they'll just attack me a whole bunch. Hold on, Giuseppe Vacari. Actually, I knew a guy in high school named Giuseppe. Giuseppe, hmm. More attack, more defense for artillery. Man, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. More factorinos. Oh. You definitely go and you'll just, just, just a touch. Just a touch. You know, I'll grab Ooh, six. You know what? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. You know, our factories aren't doing great. We have enough military factories right now. Hmm. Cancel those, maybe. Maybe build ourselves up a little bit more. Maybe not. Maybe yes. We'll see what happens. Docks in Sicilia. Let's get some Libyan resources, though. I love oil, even though it only gives us three drops. I'm going to need more than three drops, man. Woo! But we better suck up all that naval XP while we can. Wow, that looks really bad. Yeah, at least they kind of like us down here. That's kind of nice. Wow. There's literally no resources. We took this for colonies and there's nothing down here. <laughs> it's on fire, but wow. Why would we take something that has no resources? Yeah, I mean, colonies are nice and Africa's nice and all. Oh, yeah, we're down here too. I mean, but even this area, it's got nothing. Man, I feel really late to the colonization game. Is this how Italy felt in real life? It might be. Wow, we only have 33% world tension? That is not a lot. Oh yeah, I'm focusing hard on artillery. I love artillery. Make more. We gotta have a good stockpile of guns too. Hey, Mexico's having bobs again. Love it. Can we make... We can't make anymore, which is disappointing. The next group that we make for infantry, we'll send them to Austria. Just in case. You never know what the Austrians might be doing, unless we're in a faction with them, so... You guys looking pretty... Okay-ish. You guys looking pretty okay -ish. Luigi Cadorna. I've heard, historically, he... He was a dude. He might have had a couple 12 battles over here in the Ozono. That was... <laughs> that was something. Um, go ahead, and, go ahead and grab that. And we'll get some more fuel as well. God, with world tension going down... Why would we want world tension to go down? Come on, man, we want more. Invite German investors? Honestly? We're running out of spaces to build. I mean, we'll do that eventually, but probably not yet. Docks in Sicilia? Yeah, let's do that. I think that would be good to help us produce some more screens more quickly. And I think I need just more need more civilian factories just to trade them away. At this point, I think that's just the main thing that we need. Uh, if we want... If we could make better battleships. I don't think we'll really need them, though, too much. I really don't think we will. There we go. Hang out there for now. Trench Assault, very nice. Um, fortification, you get more defense, you get more recon, infantry, line defense. 25% breakthrough is insane. Absolutely insane, but less supply consumption. More defense, oh. You get minus 50% supply consumption, but you can always get 10% more by getting logistic companies. Bre breakthrough, I mean, I can't fight breakthrough. Let's do Trench Labyrinths. Let's see what happens. Fort Assault, I never go down this path. Or this land doctrine. But let's embrace it. Actually, I'm going to put you over here. Ooh, we got some more. Nice. Just make sure we're filled up everywhere. You guys hanging out. How many? We got four guys over here in total. Just in case. Hanging out over here in Genoa. Should be a trade note, but this is an EU4. Not going to do that good. Oh my goodness. We actually have a light cruiser, my friends. And it's actually not a completely garbage one. It barely uses supplies. Ooh, we should get a... Uh, Pride of the Fleet. Yes. Yes. Gonna do that. And I'll use the horses around just in case that we need to get us in any holes that we might encounter. It's because sending supplies here is gonna suck, actually, before we get too far. Develop infrastructure in Italy. 
They have so much manpower in, Italy, in France. Wow. And tons of fuel. Tons of divisions. And their navy? I don't know. The game is lagging. Only three to seven battleships. Oh, we have superiority in the naval doctrine. We might be able to do okay. If that's the case. I really think offense is probably the way to go. Ooh, docks in Sicilia. I love Sicilia. Entrenchment speed. Submarine detection. Recovery rate. I'm probably going to go with recovery rate, just because we're probably going to hit get hit quite a bit. Luigi Cadorna. Happy 1914, my friends. It's only a few months in. I totally forgot about that. I'm not going to lie. Military identity. Let's go with that. Let's develop some artillery, and we'll do some claims on French territory. What we could do when the war begins is just kind of watch everyone kill each other. Now, we might need to move very, very quickly, though, just because you never know if Germany might lose, because they're fighting two fronts. But then, they, again, they do have Austria to help them out. So, we don't really know how things are going to play out. Hopefully, it'll be kind of stationary, and we can draw away some French soldiers on the border. Uh, going to grab that. Fuel, oh my god, fuel. Oh, We only get, oh my goodness, 0 0.049, 0 0.048. Oh. We shouldn't need to really guard, eh, actually, well, they're a puppet of the British, we're going to have to guard this. We're going to be fighting quite a bit in this area. It's unfortunate. Eventually, build up all infrastructure. We will need more resources here and here. Uh, that's okay. Wow, one steel. And a bruzy. Oh, there goes China killing itself again. Wow. That's not much. Campania? Cool. Other than that, you are going to build down here, here. Well, it gives you 1-1, one, one, whatever. Do that, do that, do that. Build up the rest of the mainland quickly. Because we're going to spend some serious time building up infrastructure. And then come back down here to the center, central areas. The Fezan can't even get to, which is fine. I think that's all the... Oh, I forgot about this. forgot about that. Um, there's literally nothing down here either, so... Yeah, I'd like colonies, but I would like colonies that are worth something. <laughs> oh my goodness, my friends. Oh no, no, no. From here on out, we're going to really beef up our artillery, because we're probably going to make 7-2 infantry divisions eventually. So, excavation, nice. Just what we need. And, you know what? 71 days, fuel silo. Those are okay. Fuel gain for oil, that's not bad. 20%, we might as well explore our options. Develop artillery, very good. Let's grab some military arditi. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of divisions, do we? Oh, Frederinos. We might suffer some supply problems down here just because uh, it's not great to be down there. It really isn't. Where are you guys at? Nice. There we go. Everyone train once we get these guys over. Um. You are the darker shade, is very nice, very nice. And another three shall come to this dude. And when you're ready, go do that. Chief Navy, just in case. Gap ship deck. Oh, screen attack and defense. Oh, five wait, five percent art attack, five percent armor. Why would you go with Duca here when you get Camillo? What the heck? Look at that. Another screen? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, we're out of manpower. Oh, good. Good God, no. Oh, no. Mother, tell ya. No, 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 no. There we go. Stick with six. And then that's not much manpower, man. After this, we're going to start doing some serious stuff because it's already June 22nd. Yeah. We got to focus on claims on a French territory. But hey, let everyone kill each other first. And we'll do some naval invasions. Probably. Oh, France Ferdinand is dead. God rest his soul. Mobilization throughout Europe. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. And wars declare on my birthday. We'll see what happens. Hey, July 4th. I love July 4th. Jubal Shumar, Sultanate of Egypt. Ooh, how big is it? Navy here. Camouflage. Well, 5 to 13. That leaves me a little questioning. Ooh. Ah, they'll kill off of Serbia, we get some fuel storage. That'll all be nice. Uh, we could grab that, but we probably don't need that yet. Come over here, it's 1914. Reinforce rate, and we'll get some tank designs. Not barrel designs, tank designs, great. And we'll do claims on the French East, because we're not going to go to war yet. 
Heck no, I do not want to go to war. No, 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 no. That's for other people to do, not me. Oh, the, Itali the Italians. Where are the Italians? The Austrians have completely abandoned the area. And Serbia has refused. Look like, yep, it declared war on my birthday. Yes. Kingdom of Serbia joined the Entente, and now they're all killing each other. Ah, don't you love it when things go just right. Tough luck for him. At this point, we pretty much sucked up all the naval speed we can get. Go ahead and do that. And while we're here... Oh, even Luxembourg joined the Allies. You know what I like? I like oil. And you know who has a lot of oil? Not Luxembourg. Uh, Russian Empire. I'm thinking, I'm feeling, I'm feeling Mexico. Maybe? Yeah, anyone else? Start stockpiling a lot of fuel. Oh, we're, we're just building stuff up here. Nice. We have a good surplus of nice. Now, what would happen if I did this? This would be very bad. Minus 1700. We're not going to do that yet. We're doing okay with this stuff. Division Colonial. Um, yeah, you need a few more guys on there, which is going to kill our thing. Bob. Uh, minus 350. You know what? You have to hold off with that. That's okay, though. Oh, and now we're out of guns. Of course. Of course. That's okay. We're not at war, so... Let's see what happens. The Germans are pushing in pretty well into Russia already. And... They actually navally invaded Belgium. Wow. Wow. Good for them. Chief of Air Force... Oh, yeah, we should have some, should have some planes. Uh, I'm gonna go with attack, just because we're gonna need it. Alright, everyone. We're hanging out. No worries. No worries. We almost have another hundred planes in this wing. But as long as people want to kill each other, that's fine with me. Standing by. I'm going to put you guys over here. Put you guys over here as well. So when the war starts and we join a particular side, we got to go blazing in this area. We won't be blazing throughout to get to the Suez, probably because it's going to be really, really difficult to. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, they left this area completely undefended. Oh, that is a rookie mistake. Um, you guys are actually suffering from supply problems. So I'm going to take you, two of you guys. Get out of here. Just get out. We can't deal with any more supply. Oh, boy. Do that. That's fine. You guys hanging out. Not bad. I, I will rush this front if we can. If we can. Um, just set everyone up to attack very aggressively. Nice. The KMT is gone. Oh, John actually d did it. Nice. Alliance with Germany. We get enjoy it now. We get attack on claims, defense. Well, how's the war going right now? So this. Oh, they got the Germans got pushed out. They're actually doing pretty well against the Russians, which makes sense. It's, it's on historical. And alliance with Germany. Let's do Italian patriotism just in case first, because that division attack on defense on core territory. I mean, that's really nice. I mean, we get all this as core territory smash through here. I wonder what the PCO is going to look like when they're done, though. Oh, Serbia, Montenegro. Oh, man, I'd hate to be Austria attacking right now. Do we have any going on? Battle of... Ah, there you go. Let's go with... Hmm. March of the Eagles. Eh, let's do Arsenal. 97% war support. Very nice. It's only 58% world tension? Huh. Uh, King Carol I has died. He has gone bye-bye. It's now called the German-Mongolian War. Now the Austro-Hungarian-Russian War. Wow. The, oh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oil production. I love oil. Wow, both sides have lost quite a few guys already. It's only been a few months. Okay, what is this? Yeah, we'll see after this. Oh, that's what it is. Sorry, my mind is kind of gone at the time of this recording. I am gone. Gone, gone, gone. Getting more daily earning XP. Just. Well, they're doing okay. They're definitely doing okay. And once we go to war, I gotta save some political power so we can increase our conscription level. Because, good lord, we need to. As we're stocked up, get rid of that. Because we're not gonna have any fuel when we go to war. We're literally not be out of fuel. Maybe we can get some from Romania, but 
Hmm. There's not too many conflicts on this border, too. I really hope we can have decisive victory over here. Use declaration of neutrality. Oh, let's get the horses, too. Here, too. We want to take Nice back. Because my goal is to bum rush straight into there as fast as possible and flow to it at modulation. Very nice. We could get better planes, fighter ones. That might give us the advantage that we need. Italian patriotism. I love watching the world burn. Yes. Let everyone kill each other off first so that we can come in and act like the good guys and win. Because we will get the Ottoman Empire with us as well, which is very nice. Oh my goodness. Why does my manpower just have to go bye-bye all the time? I need, to, I need at least a little bit. Persia, China, Japan... Eh, what is Japan doing? It's not historical. They're doing a pro-British policy. Ew. So actually, if I remember correctly, France is the leader of the Entente, and we capitulate France. The entire Entente goes. So if we can spread quickly into here, let's see what happens. But, let's finish this one up first. Come on, come on, Italian patriotism. Yes, yes, it's always nice to have. They are marching around as we are just ready to go. We're ready to go. Ah, the Russians aren't giving up so easily, because they took a good chunk of Prussia already, which is kind of nice. Alliance of Germany, we gotta do it. So, join Central Powers' desk. I, I join the Central Powers immediately. Hopefully, we can turn that around, and I join the war instantly. Now, we could just go to war with Switzerland, but... I don't want to fight through Switzerland. We only have so many Alpini divisions. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't put them on the border. No, no, no. Italy is peaceful. We want to stay with the Entente. Totally. Totally. Do we have any other ships yet? No, we don't. We have 11. Three screens. Trench labyrinths. Not bad. Oh, we definitely have Oh, what's stuff up? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's all. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to switch my soldiers up, though, yet. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello. Japan, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, artillery, we would be out way more divisions. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Some thick Italian boys. Oh, uh, we can put them on here, though. Yeah, I definitely put that on there. Recon, give them the works for thick Italians, even though there's only 10 of the, ten combat width. That hurts our guns again, god dang. Nice, very good. Oh, I, I, I completely neglected this. Hmm. Shame on me. Oh. Actually, are the Serbians... They're still, they're still literally holding out completely. There's been no movement on that front. Hmm. We gotta keep an eye on this. Cool. Well, actually, the Russians are doing really well pushing... Oh, golly. Oh, that, that makes me look... I'm, I'm sad, but about that. Königsberg is a frontline city. No, thank you. But happy 1950, my friends. We have reached 1915, and we are poised to make a move. Make a move. No, please. Please, don't stay here. No one is here. You don't need to see us. We are fake news. We are absolutely fake news. When is the next ship going to be made? February. About a month. Five weeks. Oh, my goodness. Trying to keep this under wraps with an alliance with Germany might be a little difficult. Oh, Austria, please. I know they're Serbs. I know they're very strong. But come on, Austria. You can do better than that. Oh, no! Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. I was worried they would lose it. Half them. I mean, that's roughly equal. That's not good. Just keep an eye. Come on. Two weeks. We got two weeks. Surprise invasion of France. Yeah, you guys are definitely not going to move. Oh, actually, you guys could probably do pretty darn well, surprisingly. Yeah, we're poised to go. We're poised to go and do God's work. Come on. Come on. we got so much political power. I love it. Only 10 naval XP. Ooh, if that's a case. I really don't want to put my fleet in port here. Go ahead and come out, though. And I hate to do this. I really, really hate to do this. But, that's all the time that we have for today, my friends. But let's choose another focus first. Uh, before we go too far, war with France. Actually, I probably just join the war normally, right? Yeah, we don't need to do the focus, which is what I thought. But next time, 
Once they say okay, we will do economic mobilization. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider maybe leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will try to rapidly invade France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.